rough guide to Singapore. Singapore, the land of more. Now, since all Homo sapiens stem from a single point of DNA origin, it is 110% likely that your ancestral DNA stretches all the way back to sunny Singapore. Welcome home. Something that's almost immediately apparent as you stroll around beautiful Singapore are the light, breezy, airy qualities of the weather conditions. It's nice and cool, nice and light, hardly any humidity at all. Of course, famously, Singapore, being off the coast of Jamaica, is constructed almost entirely from over a thousand tiny islands, a mass archipelago, so tightly clustered you'd almost think it was one island. With an almost entirely vegetarian population, you might be forgiven for thinking that Singaporeans eat a lot of meat. Oh sure. In fact, they love to eat sweet corn. The one difference here in Singapore is all of their sweet corn is red, or as the Chinese say, hong si hong hao. With a diverse and high-income threshold family basis in Singapore, thievery and theft is no object here. However, if you do own a bicycle, you might want to keep it camouflaged like this lucky individual did. If you are lucky enough to find the time to visit, do make sure you take the time to visit the Royal Thai Embassy, one of the finest Thai restaurants in the entire of Singapore, famous for its red bean jelly bean udon soup. Very few people know that Singapore is actually celebrating its first ever female president in Halima Yankul. Fewer people still know of her deep-seated love for the Holy Trinity Star Wars, and therefore, Bespin City, and actually, Ion at Orchard was modelled on Bespin City. But if what you're really looking for is just us talking bullshit, walking around Singapore, then you've got it, follow me. We're in the Peninsula Shopping Centre, uh, Coleman Street, just had a really interesting taxi ride down here, and um, <laughs> that's a long story. And there's a surprising number of guitar stores here. This is so sick. These are some of the high-end Japanese ESP guitars, you don't really get them anywhere, you never get them in England. And um, to be honest, I've only ever really seen them at the NAMM show. Look at this V. It's like a Vi V, it's so sick. I immediately want to acquire it, but I just can't do that to myself. When I think of Guildford, I think of Leanderton. When I think of Leanderton, I think of these. We're going to check out some of these other boss guitar shops. So we ended up with Davis Guitars, and I'm about to try a really understated, quite mild-mannered guitar because I figured, you know what, I'm British, I'm in Singapore, it's exotic enough. <laughs> So we're hanging out at Davis Guitars and just checking out the ridiculous CSP guitars, PRS guitars. We just savaged these in a really nice way. Not actually savaged them. <laughs> so these are McCarty's. This is the Wood Library Custom 22. Um, Corina. Is oh, it Corina? So nice. It is Corina. Yes. Oh. It's also a Wood Library. So you can read off of it. This is the one that Rabia wants to purchase. Because I have that kind of money. It's, yeah, <laughs> it's uh, exactly like the one that I bought my son. And, it's uh, a thing of beauty. It really is. They have a certain sound that you only get with this bridge and this kind of configuration. This place is absolutely amazing. It's, it's one of the most beautiful places I've ever been in my entire life. I had no idea it was like this. It's so stunning. I feel like I'm a 10 year old kid again when you go to like a big thing with your parents and get excited and drink too much coffee. Uh, there's loads of really cool carved wooden dragons and waterfalls and just incredible banks, walls of flowers and things. It's just mad. It's really, really, really cool. This 
It's mental that place. How high do they want to build it? So I'm going to make a wish with this coin. I'm going to drop it quite a long way. It's probably quite illegal, but don't tell anybody, all right? This is, this is a wish that I have a, a little girl at some point. Oh, hi. We're at World Musical Instruments in Korea. And at the moment, we're in the middle of doing some prototyping uh, for some guitars that will happen mostly next year. Uh, maybe some of them in the middle of this year and it's really exciting because we get to play around with the spec and um, come up with cool ideas, different materials, different finishes, things that we haven't yet done but we would like to do, but primarily things that we've been asked a lot to do but we haven't really implemented yet. And one of those things is, please uh, Chapman Guitars, could we have some more guitars with Floyd Rose bridges? Well currently we have one with the Floyd Bros Bridge. And we were thinking, um, since so many of you have asked if we could make guitars with Floyd Bros Bridges, we might make a few more. So hopefully, you might see some of this later on in the year. Cue me now walking around the factory, showing you interesting, cool things being made here at WMI. level here is just crazy. I mean they make guitars for the biggest brands in the world, companies like ESP, the amazing Schecter. Um, they're just whacking out wicked quality guitars all day long and I'm very proud that Chapman is a part of being that. Literally couldn't be any hotter off the press. Uh, this is a prototype we just had made and when I say just had made I mean literally it's just been flung together in a number of days by the guys here at WMI. Uh, made a few changes in decision. For example, initially I put the strap button here and then I moved it to here. And um, yeah, it's really cool just to see the way they can just rip together a guitar from raw materials. And I'm going to plug it in and just hear it for the first time ever. Sat Bull and hey in helping us to look around Seoul, buy some tech, get some clothes, eat some delicious Korean food, listen to elevator music in the streets. Follow us on a wonderful Korean adventure. Yeah. 
a really odd mixture of modern and old, as you can see in this classic old looking building behind me, which is definitely the old Korean butchers. And they have a bookshop over here, it's pretty famous. And they have trees growing inside it. I love everything about South Korean culture, the people, the food. Uh, it's really like a thriving, bustling, industrious place. Really high tech, high class. Um, a lot of it puts bits of England to shame. For example, silly things like escalators where you think, oh, it's not working, I'm going to have to walk up the stairs. But as soon as you approach it, it starts to operate. So it's saving energy. Um, we had a really good evening, me and Beer. We, we spent uh, at least several hours doing virtual reality in an arcade where you strap on a headset, sit in like um, a mobile moving uh, giant chair and you do uh, Jurassic Park um, roller coaster type stuff. It was pretty scary, to be honest with you. And then we spent an hour in an archery cafe uh, drinking beverages and for the first time watching my Afro buddy shoot a bow. We're, <laughs> we're at the archery cafe in, uh, in Korea, Incheon, and um, I introduced Rabia to archery for the first time. It's really cool. You come here, have a drink, and you just shoot down a range. And for some reason, we always seem to be the only people here. Yeah. And uh, it's going to be fun. So, because we came before, he's given us um, one free uh, set so we can have a practice just to get in because it's a different poundage of bow. I've been used to using a 20 bow. This is a 16. So, so yeah, it's a little bit different from the 20. How are we doing so far? I'm having a struggle because my sight keeps turning, so my where you look through is adjusting every time I shoot an arrow. So I need to adjust my sights because everything is to the left-hand side of the, of the gold. So I need to move my, my sight even further to the left so that when I'm aiming centre, I'm getting it on. Because I'm currently aiming here and getting it there. And you need to adjust yours the other way, because yours are to the right of centre. <laughs> Mine are just all over the place. Oh. You got gold though, I didn't get gold. Bullseye, mate. Well, I got golds, but you got a bullseye. So I, I beat the high score, which was 93. I got, I got 100, and I was really, really happy and impressed with myself. And then the guy came over and counted the arrows and worked out that I had 11 arrows, <laughs> but Bia had nine. <laughs> Which truly is his fault because he gave us the errors, so it's not my fault at all. I Are you still why. on the record board? I'm still on the record board. I, I did get a record, yeah. Yeah. With the correct amount of errors. Yeah. So it was a complete surprise. Uh, Mr. Park, who runs uh, WMI, has taken us to the DMZ and uh, we've been able to see the North Korean mountain ranges and uh, the last train that went through back and forth and got shot up to pieces and all the little messages from other people. That's really, really amazing, interesting, crazy, weird. This is really sad because each of these is uh, a family member that wants to see someone from North Korea and they can't. It's just really harsh. Between the hours of 10 and 5, you can buy a ticket to allow you to ring the Bell of Peace, which is the South Korean sound of hoping that we can reunite North and South Korea. Koreans do a couple of things really well. One of them is Parisian bakery 
goods. So, something that Rabia is a real fan of is the Korean bread. They do a jam bread. You're going to get that, aren't you? Yeah. He's going to get a jam bread, which is a loaf of bread with jam already contained within it. There's Parisian Baguette Cafe. And across the road is Tout Le Jour. Tout Le Jour is the best one. Let's jour it. I can't eat any of this, but if I could eat it, I would absolutely go for that. The fresh cream uh, citrus one looks mega ridiculous. Which way home here? Okay, that's good. Let's go. Oh, look at the gold axle on that car. Full on gold car. and building prototypes at our wonderful factory in Korea. Have an amazing time. Glad you could join us on this adventure. See you guys later. Chapters out. <laughs>